Gentlemen, in relationships, we tend to get complacent. And when that happens, we tend to take our women for granted. And when that happens, women don't feel sexy. If you want a wildcat in the sack, fellas, you got to make her feel sexy all day long. Women have to be adored, loved, pursued, desired, even inside of a relationship, okay? Every day. Gentlemen, that means foreplay begins when you wake up. You're waking up, and you're taking your morning whiz, she's coming out of the shower, drying off, you know, her legs and that peach meat sneaking out the back. <laughs> Grab that monkey, let her know she's alive, okay? <laughs> let her know she's alive. Stop, you're crazy, get away from me, you're crazy. I'm a gorilla, bitch. You're lucky I don't have you bent over that sink looking at toothpaste things. You're lucky. Stop, you're crazy. You made me crazy, woman. You're so sexy. I can't help myself. Stop. They love it. Flirt with them. Why not? Be funny about it. When y'all are by yourselves, guys, bring it out. Wag it at her. Go, look, look, look. <laughs> look, look. It looks like a little baby bunny, doesn't it? It does. Doesn't it? <laughs> touch the bunny, touch the bunny, touch the bunny, touch the bunny. It's gonna get you, it's gonna get you. <laughs> oh, that bunny's getting bigger, isn't it? Yes, he is. That's a medium bunny, isn't it? Yes, it is. Now just nuzzle that bunny. Mmm. Mmm, so soft. Mmm. Now suck that bunny. Here comes Peter Cottontail, hopping down the bunny trail. Gentlemen, you know the number one reason they don't do it is our own hygiene, okay? Stinky, okay? That's the number one reason they don't. Girls, never allow this to be a problem for you. Attack your man when he comes out of the shower. Let me tell you something about your guy. Every guy in here washes his junk three times every shower. Soap, shampoo, condition, okay? When he comes out of the shower, he might not have touched his feet since 2002. His junk, spotless. Spotless. Take the towel off of him, put the towel on the ground, place your knees on the towel, cushioning your knees, make it for a more ergonomically correct position. See, girls? We <laughs> you got to take matters into your own hands, so to say. All right? Grab it, look up at him, and go, I'm a dirty, naughty little girl. <laughs> yes, you are. I'm about to cover your face with enough DNA to film three episodes of CSI. You filthy animal. Oh my God, is this hot. Sweet Jesus. And then girls, I want you to look it right in its eye. Okay, look it right in its eye. And then spit right up. Spit right in its eye. And then close your eyes and commence. Now girls, the reason I ask you to close your eyes is so you don't happen to look up and get creeped out by the look on your man's face. We will creep you out if you look up. Don't. We're creepy as it gets, okay? All right? Don't look up. We look rapey as hell up there. We're like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't look up. Now, some girls go, Ralphie, if I don't have my eyes open, how far will I know to, you know? Good question, girls. Ladies, it's generally thought of by men that the proper depth on any good one is Gah! If uh, you make it to Gah! Perfect. Just hit that mark every stroke. Gah! 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 Within two minutes, Jerry Lewis will magically appear. Oh, God. Oh, lady. Wow. Awesome. Done. Now, there's women amongst you girls that didn't even need this conversation, right, ladies? There's women here right now that are bona fide, dirty, dirty, little nutty girls. And you'll know these women by the amount of diamonds and jewelry they have on their body in person. The more diamonds and jewelry they have, the better they are. I like you. You're hilarious. She's like, look at this necklace. Look at this. Look at this ring. Look at this. We got a champagne right there. Okay. These are women that learned a long time ago the fastest way to free jewelry is sucking some mean D. You suck it well, you're going to get good jewelry. What do you think BJ stands for? Bring jewelry. All right? All right? 
Do it well, girl. You don't believe me? Do everything I've said and then add a Zales catalog to the top of your head. <laughs> right before he's done, he'll be like, we gotta go to the mall. <laughs> now, ladies, it's also about optimizing it, okay? Getting the most bang for your buck, okay? Look, girls. One at home, on the couch or the bed, while very much appreciated, still only counts as one, one to one, okay? Now, change locations. Like, say, not at home, but rather in the car ride on the way home. Now, your one has become eight. <laughs> because that's freaky. Freaky, we start growing numbers, okay? All right? And when it comes to a roadie, if you get a roadie, that's awesome. That's, that's, that's the mother load. Okay, no pun intended. All right, uh, <laughs> one to eight. Now, I don't know the state flower of every state, but I think it's an orange construction barrel. And I, uh, I know one thing you do have is a mess of unnecessary traffic. Girls, what you need to do is use that time to work on a project for you. Earn you some jewelry, girls. Get you some. If you do that in the car three times a week, that dummy of yours will think he got 24 in a week. <laughs> Guess what? You just became a unicorn. <laughs> you are a magical, mythical creature that we've all heard about but never seen before. <laughs> what, what does that unicorn even eat? I don't know, maybe carrots of diamonds. Here, be sure to tuck your hand, finger in. Here you go. Bite your finger. Now, I know this girl's out there mad at me. Screw you, Fetty. I am not going to do that for jewelry. If he loves me, he would just buy me jewelry. <laughs> oh, you're adorable. Okay, don't believe me? Fine. Enjoy your Hallmark card on Valentine's Day. Roses are red, violets are blue, so are my balls, thanks to you. <laughs> Come on, girl. Every kiss begins with <laughs> Thank you, everybody. I love you so much. I gotta go. Y'all been great. Thank you very much.